Have you ever taken a moment to wonder, what is time exactly? The concept of timekeeping has a long history, and it's difficult to pinpoint a single individual who first recorded time. Different ancient civilizations developed their own methods of measuring time. One of the earliest known systems of recording time is probably something you've seen before. It's the use of sundials. Sundials were used by various ancient cultures, including the Egyptians, Babylonians, and the Greeks. This is going back as early as 1500 BC. These instruments used the position of the sun's shadow to divide a day into hours. Next, we had water clocks. These were also known as clepsydrae. I don't think I butchered that word too much, but... These were another early timekeeping method. These relied on a steady flow of water to measure time. Now, the first mechanical clocks, as we know them today, they didn't appear until the Middle Ages in Europe. These early clocks, they paved the way for the development of more precise timekeeping instruments. Of course, all this isn't actually time, is it? These are just instruments that we use to measure our perception of time. So, time. It's that elusive concept that governs all of our lives. It's a fascinating enigma. It's both a fundamental and an abstract concept. It's one that shapes our world in ways that we often take for granted. Ask yourself the question, what is time? Like, what is it? Time is not merely a measure of hours and minutes and seconds, or even how long your piece is gonna to take to arrive. It's a profound force that governs the universe's very fabric. It's a ceaseless river flowing only in one direction, and it's carrying us right along with it, from the past to the present, and ultimately into the future. One of the most intriguing aspects of time, one that a lot of people just can't get their head around, it's its concept of relativity. And this is a concept that was famously described by Albert Einstein. Time can speed up or it can slow down, depending on our relative motion or gravity. This idea it challenges our intuitive understanding of time, highlighting its intricate connection to the universe's fundamental laws. Similar effects are demonstrated in the movie Interstellar, where our poor chap Romley is left up on the spaceship where he aged for 23 years, while the time passed down on the planet for the other characters, that was a matter of hours. This is an example of extreme time dilation due to gravitational pull. Now, under these circumstances, one could effectively travel forward in time. Going back, however, that's still one we haven't quite worked out the math for yet. But hold your horses or your DeLorean, whichever works for you. Unfortunately, science is still a long way off of making this actually possible. But anything's possible, right? The future, you could come back and take you back to the future or even back to the past. Definitely can't be the past that you're currently in because the previous you would know about the future you and... We'll have to talk about paradoxes sometime. I haven't got time for that right now. Time is a great equaliser. It treats us all with impartiality, rich or poor, young or old. Each of us is allotted a finite amount of time. None of us actually know how much time we have. This should also be a constant reminder to seize the moments and make the most of our limited time here. Time is a marker of change. It captures the relentless march of events from the birth of stars to the fall of empires. It is a testament to the impermanence of all things, the constant evolution of our world. Time is also a powerful storyteller. It shapes our history, our memories, and our aspirations. It is in our past that we find our lessons, it's in the present we live our lives, and it's in the future that we cast our hopes and dreams. Yet, yeah, 
Despite our deep understanding of how to measure time, its nature remains elusive. Now, is time an illusion, a human construct, or an inherent property of the universe? Philosophers, scientists, and thinkers have pondered this question for centuries. And it remains a subject of profound debate and curiosity even today. So, in conclusion, time is an intricate web that binds all of our lives and our world. It's a force of nature, a measurement of existence, a marker of change. It's a concept that invites us to explore the deepest mysteries of the cosmos and the inner workings of our minds. So, May we continue to ponder the question, what is time? And to marvel at its complexities, and to use it wisely too, as we journey through the ever-flowing river of existence. Have a great day.